viewers and welcome back to the South Main Auto Channel. That's our 2019 Ford Flex. Needs a couple tires and a wheel alignment. And Josh is off on vacation this week, so I'm stuck with this work. Do not hit the rim.
you sensory stimulating weirdos. <laughs> ah, that was my feeble attempt at some SMA ASMR. I think that's what they call it. I call it weirdo stuff. I'm going to go through and adjust the tire pressures, the front and rear on it. Now, a couple of folks are already complaining like, bro, you can't put two tires on a four wheel drive. Well, true as it may be, we put on the Hankook Optimo H426s, 101B rated, not a sponsor. So the guy bought this thing used and he noticed that the rear tires were spanked. So the tires that were on the front are still about 8 30 seconds tread. And that's these tires here. I moved them to the back. Now the new tire is only between 10 and 11 30 seconds tread. Perfectly acceptable. Same make, model, circumference, same everything. Don't go mixing up tires on your all wheel drive. Now, the thing we don't know is where the rear tires bald because they never had been a, uh, rotated, you know, where they on the front forever, this guy's doing burnouts, you know, who knows. Uh, or is the vehicle out of line and just scrubbing the tires right off it. So that's what we gotta find out next. I'll adjust the pressures, I'll pull it on and off the lift after I take it off the jack, make sure suspension is settled, and then we'll check the alignment on it. It may not need anything. We've got our targets attached. We're gonna do a wheel compensation run out now. I'm using the rim clamps on this vehicle. I've been noticing some issues with my tire clamps not being as accurate repeatedly. So I've switched over to just the wheel clamps. And I think I've had a little better success. It's purely my opinion though. It is a good thing we checked folks. The rear is out, total tow, individual tow, which has the thrust angle super messed up. I should have drove this car before. I don't know if the steering wheel is crooked or not. Uh, and the front tow is out pretty significantly, kind of odd for a 2019, but you never know. So we're gonna go back, make some adjustments in the rear, get the tow straightened back out. Get her going back down the road straight, hopefully not chew off these tires. It did have a little glance under here. It does have adjustable tow links, which is really nice. It's the only thing I see right offhand. I don't see any cams for the camber. I did check to make sure that this sucker would come loose. Uh, uh, <laughs> the confusion. Which way to turn? And then this one should be left hand thread on the insides. I should turn it the same way. So we'll loosen these up a smidge. And then we're going to crank her in. Be on the bottom right of your screen there. Uh, let's see which way you want to go. Always the opposite of what you think. So this one we need to tow in, so we need to tighten up this link. Whoa, fella. We'll get her steadied out there. And then on the left side here, we need to make it grow. We're gonna turn it this way it should be. Yes, sir. First try. back there. I figured the toe was off in the back because it was harder than hell to pull the pins out of the rear turn plates. They were bound up slightly. Usually if the toe is off on a vehicle it'll do that. Oh we're done. We'll give her a little wiggle. Wow she's tight. Bounce her up and down. Make sure our readings settle out. And they did. Looks like we're off just a couple hundredths of a degree. I'm not gonna chase that up all day long, folks. We're gonna make sure our steering wheel is straight and then we'll straighten out our front toe. Do, do. Steering wheel is nice and straight. We had it pretty close. So now we're gonna see if we can crack this little guy loose. Oh, look at that. It's nice working on newer cars. Newer, she's a couple years old, 19, so. Let's see, we need to make this side grow a little bit here. We're using the Easy Tow program, which works pretty well, in my opinion. Particularly if the tie rod is a difficult spot to get to, it allows you to adjust the toe with the wheel turned all the way in there. Things that come to mind are like the Hondas or anything with the tie rod end way at the top. Come on, baby. Now I got you. Straighten out your tie rod, boom. Tow it out rather. What am I thinking? 
Whatever I say, just do the opposite, folks. Pretty much. <laughs> Some good advice for you. Now she's looking happy again. Our thrust angle straight at zero, almost perfect. Um, rear toes on, camber's very close to being within spec. I see on the front camber, we're holding about eight ten, negative eight tenths of a degree. And I noticed when I looked this up, it had except GTDI, so gas turbo direct injection vehicles, and then specs for the ones with gasoline turbo direct injection. And the only difference was the camber spec. The turbo cars had eight tenths of a degree of negative camber and then the spec on the non uh, was negative 0.6 and negative 50 so a little bit of cross camber but uh, this vehicle should drive straight now and not destroy the tires Boy, what a rigmarole getting this thing into learning mode I gotta go through and uh, relearn the tire sensors here Me it's got the wrong sensors, but the car is happy with it. So we're just gonna skip right past that. Training complete. Yeehaw! Alright, the wheels are trained, so they know where they're at. Now, I did look in service data also because this has electric power steering to see if there's any reset procedures that we need to know. Put their lights back in auto. Uh, I didn't see anything listed in service data under wheel alignments or under the steering section. Just for the heck of it, I plugged in a scan tool just to make sure. I didn't want to be wrong. And not having previously driven it, I don't know how crooked the steering wheel was, if at all. parking lot. Scary times, folks. Just kidding. Just happens to be a light day. I can say when Josh ain't here, we cancel all appointments. Uh, so we're going to drive it now. What I'm going to be feeling for is uh, obviously any shimmy, shakes, pulls from our new tires. Make sure everything seems good. Make sure the vehicle goes with road crown or doesn't go with road crown. This had a fair amount of cross caster in it so it should go relatively straight on a crowned road folks uh, popping on a couple tires uh, in a weirdo type fashion and the uh, wheel alignment here on the Ford Edge Flex I guess it is uh, they call it so everything's kind of straight out don't know why it was out so drastically having 30 some thousand miles on it but doesn't appear anything's been hit bash smash maybe they've done some repairs on it you know under warranty and never did the wheel alignment because oftentimes that's the case you know we get cars in from the dealer where they've done you know rear differential they've done something but they don't include the wheel alignment they just send the customer on the way just did one the other day on a a newer caliber uh lady had it in at the dealer they did the subframe never did the alignment destroyed her tires in two weeks they were brand new tires smoked them right clean off it um so we had to you know readjust the cradle but i don't know why they do things like they do 
Um, what else am I going to tell you? If you're doing wheels and you live in the Northeast and you're doing them at the shop, make sure just clean the back of the wheels off. Take the time to clean the wheel, clean the hub so the next guy doesn't have to sledgehammer the tires off. These weren't that stuck, but we have some that are super stuck. You really have to full baseball bat roundhouse some things to get them off. Uh, so if you do that, take a few minutes, service your customer, do you know, do a good job. Uh, you know, include it in the price of your tires. If you got to up the price of your tires, well, so be it. You know, I just do it as a service. And same thing with the alignment. Uh, you know, when you're done with the alignment, do you have any adaptations that need to be run or done? You know, the like the one we just did in that Chevy with the kryptonite control arms. We had the, you know, smooth road sensor or smooth road compensation that it does through the steering column, the active wheel pull compensation. Uh, sometimes there's uh, resets on steering angle sensors. If the car has ADOS, it gets even more complicated uh, in some cases. And, you know, when you're putting tires on, retrain them so it knows the position. So if there is something wrong with a tire, the customer knows which one it is. You know, obviously they can figure it out. If you got a flat, it's flat. Even if it's on your left front, it's really right rear. So, anyhow, why don't you guys figure out how to go down in that comment section, leave a question, a comment, a criticism, a concern. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.